Hello everybody and welcome back to the Band of Glass and which I showed you in the previous episode. We tried out Eve to Mother. We thought we did it wrong, but we ended up doing it right and we got a nice easy kill. Technology plus Tainted Eve was very, very fun. Proptosis as well, very good on top of that. We're going to jump in and I finally actually added uh, the Greedier runs to the randomizer. I've been putting off Greedier mode. I don't really like it. I've made a mod that makes it better, but it's still not super fun. So I've been kind of... My, my opinion of it really was that I didn't want to play it too much on video. I wanted to do a lot of the greedy mode stuff off of video because I don't think greedy mode makes for the best videos to watch. But anyways, I thought that now we're getting towards the end, the last few unlocks, I thought we might as well throw it in there. So we might end up randomizing greedy mode. Let's see. Let's pop up the randomizer and see what we end up getting today. Let's have a little look. See, we got Apollyon to Mother. We didn't even get greedy mode. We're going to go Apollyon to mother i am very very okay with that uh where are you apollyon apollyon to mother hard mode let's go i have also by the way off camera finished two unlocks um it took a little while of doing but i decided not to do them on camera because there were stuff that you guys have already seen me do um and no, not only that but they were very much i shouldn't have had to do them again anyways one of them was tainted eve to uh, delirium because we already did it and the game crashed and it was like a sheer victory uh, so that was completely cheated from us and the other one was um tainted samson to delirium because if you remember correctly we already killed tin um uh, delirium with tainted samson but the game uh decided not to give us it because we died after he died but we didn't get the unlock even though he fully died just the animation didn't finish which again complete bullshit we definitely killed him everything went right but the game didn't give it to us so i went off, off camera played for a few hours and got those two done wasn't too difficult the runs were anything super special i think i got revelation on one of them um but Anyways, I thought them two unlocks because we'd already seen basically all they had to offer. I'd do them off camera. And like I said, I'm kind of doing the same for the greedier mode runs, at least with some of the characters and I have done in the past. I hope you guys don't mind too much that I'm not doing literally everything on camera. I'm trying to keep all the interesting stuff on there, but I think there's a lot of stuff that... You guys can take it on good faith that I've done it. You can see the unlocks. Um, they're, they're there. They're, they're, com they're complete. And, uh, like... We're going to still go for the ones like the interesting ones. Like we're going to try and do It's the Key on camera at some point. Again, I'm going to attempt that. Um, if it ends up taking me way too long, maybe I'll maybe I'll take some cracks at it on stream or something. We'll see. But anyways, we're jumping in as Tainted Apollyon here. Tainted Apollyon, of course, with the ability to suck up items. Kind of interesting. He's pretty good. Um, I think we're six bombs. We should definitely grab Diplopia here. Um, it shouldn't be too hard for us to get. And it will be pretty damn valuable for us in the future, or at least could potentially be pretty damn valuable. So let's grab that, um, and we'll be able to diplopia some stuff in the future. Um, secret room-wise, it's a little bit off-putting, a little bit hard to find here. Um, I think it could be either one. Okay, actually, I was going to say either one. It can't be that one. So I think it's here. I think it's here. Ah, unfortunate. Might be above us. I'm not going to spend any more time looking for it because we've only got two bombs. I'd rather keep them on our person. Uh, but getting fast bombs to start out, seven bombs is a pretty good way to start. It's why I didn't void it because it allowed us to get Diplopia in the end. So I think that's pretty valuable, honestly. We're not going to go for the Plum Flute here. We just got Diplopia, so we're going to be wanting to hold on to that. Petrified Poop here is pretty nice. I'll grab that real quick. Um, and yeah, we're, we're kind of going to be using Void fairly sparingly. I think Void, uh, or Abyss should I call it, because uh, that's what it's actually called, is an interesting item that you kind of want to really just be using to get extra value out of items you wouldn't normally get much value out of. You don't want to be vo uh, Abyssing every single item that you find. What you instead want to be doing is... Take, taking those items that are really low value for the uh, course, over the course of your run and getting some additional value, additional damage out of them. Not, it's, it's, it's going to be hard to sort of quantify where the, where the value lies with some of those. Okay, this is getting kind of annoying. Uh, can you stop doing this attack, please? Um, it's going to be kind of hard to quantify where some of that value uh, is, is proper when, when we actually want to abyss. But there's some items where you just kind of know, such as this one. You just, you just know that... Out of a range upgrade or a damaging fly, the damaging fly is far more valuable. Range upgrade, while I wouldn't say it's useless, it's certainly not the best. Uh, we're going to get that golden bomb, of course. It pretty much guarantees we find our secret rooms. 
on this floor, as well as hopefully giving us some extra consumables throughout the floor. So let's go and uh, bomb a bunch of stuff, make sure we're not walking into barrels and stuff as they explode. We don't want to get uh, caught off guard by that sort of stuff. But anyways, in terms of checking for secret rooms, we're literally just going to check everywhere. Um, and we're going to blow up every little thing we possibly can and probably end up using these for a bit of damage along the way too. Um, I don't have any current plan for Diplopia. Um, a bit of extra money there. Yeah, I don't have any current plan for Diplopia. Um, I just kind of, I'll use it if it's necessary. Ooh, okay. Grants one heart container. Um, that's kind of a difficult one. Because a heart container is pretty good. But is it really, is it really better than Petrified Poop on these first few floors? Probably not, right? I mean, Petrified Poop can give us quite a lot of money over the course of this. There's our next secret room. Hello, hello, hello. Um, unfortunately, not actually that much good stuff here. Um, a lot of batteries. I mean, we might end up getting a, a good active item somewhere around here that makes that a little more valuable. You can go. Got you guys. Don't throw the poop at me. That's my poop. Uh, let's just go and do our boss straight away here. We should hopefully be able to preserve our deal with the devil. I mean, we've got plenty of bombs, so just plant some of them down. That, that did not do anywhere near as much damage as I was expecting it to on him then. He's jumping a lot more than normal here, but we got him. We got him. Uh, HP up, I'm definitely going to take that. And I could go into my deal with the devil and diplopia so that I don't stick with the deal with the devil chance. That is certainly, because if you don't actually pay HP, it doesn't count as taking a deal with the devil. But I think diplopia is best left for something a bit more important. Uh, I'm tempted to go into our shop, but I'd like to find another key first, really. Okay, so I think now we just want to use our bombs mainly here to, to kill most things. It's going to be pretty easy. There you go. We'll destroy all our poops. We'll do our, do our due diligence here. Um, of course, we can get soul hearts, dimes, eternal hearts. There's all sorts of great stuff that you can get out of poop. I was going to say great shit there, but I thought kind of a bad pun. I'll leave that one for now. And now I regret not saying it. Hence me even bringing it up. <laughs> I'm like, actually, it is a terrible pun, but what is my channel if not me playing Isaac somewhat competently and me tearing, telling terrible puns? $3 bill, 100% gonna grab that. I don't think it's worth deploring on the, um, on the thingies, however, the item rooms to get the unknown item. It's a little frustrating that we can't get into our shop, but I'm actually a moron. Because we can just bomb into it. <laughs> I'm like, why can't we can't get into it? We can't get into it. So like, yes, we can, you moron. Um, see, now this, this is a very good pickup. Because we can then see if it's worth deploying to get the second item. It's a lot more valuable now, you see. Uh, so we take a little look and we jump on down. And we, we do not press any buttons. Here we have Mysterious Liquid and Mongo Baby. I don't really care about Mongo Baby. Mysterious Liquid is great on its own. One good thing as well we could do is we could Diplopia some stuff in order to... Um, a bit worried about our health here. Uh, we could Diplopia some stuff in order to grab um, s some extra flies, some extra red flies. Like, that's actually a genuinely okay tactic if we don't find anything better to void. Like, if we find a better space bar item... Um, on, on a floor with those other items. That's how we could maybe go about it. Might be a good way of doing it. Shop here again. Stealing some shop items. That could also work. Depending on how many shop items are available. This room again? We just had this room. $3 bill here, of course. Playing its role as an absolutely fantastic item. Of course, it can give us Fire Mind and a few other slightly more nasty things. But otherwise, I think it's a very good item overall. See, getting the same room again, normally it's, it's somewhat jarring slash annoying but when there's poops in the room when there's poops to have it i will take it i will take it boom 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 we definitely need some more like base stats like fire rate we're a little low on stuff like that at the minute rotten heart i'm actually not going to take that right now i don't feel like we require it and i feel like rotten hearts i always end up keeping him for a really long time and they screw me over on the final bosses so I'm just not going to take it this time because we don't need to. So we want Mysterious Liquid here. We do not want Mongo, baby. Uh, we do not have a key yet, so that would be pretty good to grab. <laughs> I'll admit, that'd be, that'd be a, a good start. 
We want to keep our two bombs here as well. We've only got two currently. I very much like to keep them. Uh, there's our mirror room. Mirror room right next to item rooms always a huge get. Means we don't have to do as much of the floor if we don't want to. Oh wait, we got five bombs. I thought we only had two. What, what just happened? Am I just was I just like really blind for a moment? Then if if I was, I bet you are like, what what, what is he talking about? Only two bombs. <laughs> Clearly got five. I think I just misread it. Okay, why why am I doing this? Why don't I just kill the thing that's spawning these? Please don't take away my soul hearts. Luckily, I did just get another one from this this room. These fucking things are the worst. They're so annoying. <laughs> So hard to deal with. These ones aren't quite as bad, but I'd still say they're pretty bad. I'd like to keep this full soul heart here, so let's uh, not mess this up. One cool thing about our flies as well, they are spectral. They do have infinite range. Adds a little bit more value to them on top of the value they already had. Looks like we're not getting a key. We got another golden bomb though, so we might be able to get a key out of our uh, secret room. Wherever that may lie. Let's hope so. There's one. Guppy's tail. Pretty fucking good, as long as we can get the uh, keys required to open everything up. Okay. Realise that that's not going to be a secret room, but at the minute I'm just kind of checking everything for everything. There we go. Okay, no key. No key kind of sucky, because... No key kind of sucky, because I really want Mysterious Liquid. Now, the good thing is, we should be able to um, get one from our Mirror Realm. Where's our, where's our fire? Ooh, you're a bit speedy, you little speed skater. Everybody was supersonic racing. Running at the speed of sound. What the hell is it? There it is. These can give you the leech, so I'm going to pop them all. By the leech, I do mean the item. Right, away we go. I love the way the Lost looks with the um, Apollyon swirl. It's so good. Right, in we go. Right, so we should be able to hopefully get a key from a room drop during this floor. We'll see. Maybe not, maybe so. We still get golden bombs on this though, so... What was our boss again? Have we fought our boss? I don't remember. We should be able to do it though. That's annoying. Guppy's tail might screw us a little bit on all the chests we get, because we're not going to get as many key drops. We might get some regular chests though that drop keys, so... Let's, let's just hope for the best. Feels a bit familiar doing this room with uh, golden bombs again, doesn't it? Okay. More poopies to fire at. Let's just do our rooms first. Okay, this is a room that we need to take care of straight away. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, 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 that was a horrible room. I'm going to open this. Oh, for fuck's sake, give me a key. I need a key. This is horrible. It's so annoying when you just can't fucking get a key. Oh, my God. We did do the boss. It was Min Min, which is not a good boss for me. But we got bombs. Pentagram. Very nice. But I want a key. <laughs> oh my god, it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. I mean, it's good that we don't need the key for anything uh, other than item room. But like, come on. It would be so easy to just give me a key. Stop fucking spawning these shitheads too. What's, what's with this? These little fucking flies. Oh my god. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> I cannot believe that. You're really going to do that to me. Big sad. Big sad indeed. Did we go into our curse room? I can't remember. 
Anyways. We didn't. We didn't go into our cash room. Our cash room could give us a key. I very highly doubt it, but it technically could. Fuck me, game. You're a bit fucking savage, aren't you? Bombs are key. Bombs are key. Not bad, but really? You're going to do this to me? Okay, we didn't fight the boss, so maybe we can get a key out of this. I thought we fought the boss. We just went to the boss room, then left. Okay, angel deal could be good. Um, excuse me? How does void work with diplopia? Do we find out? Let's go find out. Isaac Diplopia. Then control F void. Um Really is another thing for void? Maybe we just go with the other way around and and try and search up void. And then go Diplopia. Void can be used to generate free stat upgrades as well as gain numerous copies of active items without use of this Diplopia. Okay, no, that's not what we want us. Um, okay, any single use active, um, such as Diplopia, forget me now, Panaris Box. Um, single use items are used once upon. Uh, being destroyed, but their effects are not absorbed. I think these items won't be used on absorption, but their next usage of void will allow. Okay, so I'm good to grab this. We are double Apollyon. I'm good to grab this, and then I can use it at the next convenience. But I only get one use of it. I still can't believe we didn't get a single key. Game's a big troll. Could have had Mysterious Liquid. Big old troll game. You're a big old troll. And a mean bully. You watch this give me a key. Okay, it didn't. That, that does make me... F I still want a key, but that does make me feel a little bit better. Right. We've not really um, sucked up too many things with Abyss quite yet. I would like to uh, get that going. Good job is we've had golden bombs a lot, so we're sitting pretty with our bomb count at the minute. We'll be able to find our secret rooms this floor. We gained damage for that. I don't really know why. We didn't look at our um, at our thingy to see what our items were this floor, which is kind of stupid. I should have done that. Yeah. Oh, funny. Funny. Stop giving me golden chests. See, people say Guppy's Tale's really good, but this is why it isn't. <laughs> oh my god. Can I have a key, please? I can't believe it. It's mental. How are you not going to give me a key for this long? Just, It just can't do it. The game just can't do it. It can't fathom. How to give me a key. It doesn't understand. What are keys? We'll never know. It's a mystery to the world. I kind of want to play... I'm going to play this guy. Just so that he fucking maybe gives me a key. Also possibly a health upgrade. Or something I can void. Health upgrade. A key please. Let's see if we play it. Thanks. Bit of damage. Exactly what I wanted. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to say a key. Oh, just some more damage. How does that keep hitting me? I don't think I've ever been hit by this guy before in my life. Stop offering me parts. What are you doing? Okay, keys, keys, keys. No. <laughs> Please. Stop it. Oh my god, it's a key. No. <laughs> 
This one will pay out, I guarantee it. Nope, okay, we're just getting really unlucky on this guy. Really unlucky, holy shit, and a single payout yet. Dude, do you actually pay out with anything? Is it possible? No, it's not. No, it's not. Fucking really? I'm getting so upset. So upset right now. The hell is this game? There's some bell schnickel right here. There's some hot bell schnickel. Oh my god. What am I meant to do? Play this guy for a bit, I guess. Nothing. Nada. Squat. One, two. How are you not... How is no one paying out with anything? Do they not... Do you not like me? I feel like you don't like me. A luck penny, that's pretty good. And a single penny here. Oh, the stress. It's building people. It's building to a dangerous level. I don't really care about being hit now that I've lost my angel deal already. Oh my good giddy god. It's happened. The impossible. The improbable. The unbelievable. How on earth? Oh wait, I just realized something. How? How does Diplopia plus Void even work? Like, I asked how it works, but also like... On the next use, pedestal the pedestal items in the room will be consumed, but another copy of the item will spawn afterwards. So basically, we can absorb something for stats and not absorb it for stats. So I guess we just use it on this next uh, <gasps> molding clay. Hello. Gives us a random copy of an item each room. It's really cool. Yeah, you, sh you should see in the bottom left, look, there you go. Tend to Scorpio, this room. It molds into random things. Goes quite well with $3 bill, I'll have you know. <gasps> a key! Oh my god! <laughs> I feel so blessed! Rubber cement in this room. Common cold, this room. Quince! The stopwatch, 100% grabbing that. Oh my god. This has just been mental. But we're making progress. Item room, where are you? We got the finger, this room. Oh yeah, molding clay is pretty cool. It can be some really good stuff. That's a lot of money. So, in theory, I should just do this. Yeah, there you go. Because it voided all the items, but also gave us the copies as well. Oh, but it still only gave me a choice between the two. I, I, eh, I don't know about that. That felt a bit bad. I thought it was going to still give me both the items. But again, we've got no keys to do any of that, so it doesn't matter. Right. Why are we, why are we glowing red? What's that from? Like we got the, the damage aura, but we've not got the damage aura. We got one of the syringes here, but because it's not colored, I can't actually tell which one. Yeah, nope, that was bad. Did that miss as well? So we've got so many bombs here that I'm trying to use. I'm just trying to use them whenever we can. That's definitely an abyss. Right, remember to watch what we're going to get next floor this time, you doofus. Odd mushroom. Oh, God. Terrible. Terrible. 
now. I don't know how we didn't lose that angel deal there. I got hit immediately and I don't have a soul heart, do I? No, we lost it now, though. Oh, right, this this runs a bit of a bit of a nightmare. Three dollar bill still going strong. We don't have a key again. At least we got stopping uh not stopping power. There's a stopping power. Um stopwatch even. Stopping power's call of duty, so don't be a moron. A chest! Oh look, it's full of money. This game is a stone cold troll. Dislike these enemies a lot. It's weird, we can either turn items into stats or we can turn items into not stats. Oh, there's a key. Still think it's better to grab that. The damage is pretty good. The health is also pretty necessary. We need to see if we can get another key to get into our shop here. Good, good. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, damage is sitting fairly pretty for the time being. I do think that we managed to get damage aura and keep it because our tears definitely seem bigger and we're still glowing red. And I don't really know why. Can can I have a key, please? Anybody? <laughs> what is with this run? Why is there no keys in existence? Like, why am I getting such bad room drops as well? I have, I, I do have some luck at least. Good, good. We're getting through the rooms fairly all right, but like, it could be much better. Oh my God. Why are the rooms giving us nothing all the time? Depressing. I have number two for this room, so don't waste a bomb. Or just kick it away, why don't we? Let's farm keys. We've got glitter bombs. Let's farm keys. <laughs> this is the way. Thank you, Molding Clear. These are the lengths we have to go to. I told you it'd work. These are the lengths that we have to go to. I want one more key before we before we decide to leave. One more key will do me good. Come on now. Ah, sometimes they just do I think it's luck based with, with glitter bombs. There you go. Okay, I'm happy now. We got another key. We've, we're making it work, people. We're making it work. <laughs> In the most roundabout way possible, we are making it work. Right, on our way through. Grab whatever's in here. For God's sake, it had to be, didn't it? Even if it's Steam Sale, I think we probably want to void it. Do we want to void it or do we want to abyss it? I think void at the minute has higher potential. Doesn't matter because we didn't get it. But we at least have keys for the next floor. Right. I don't know where our health currently sits. I imagine not in a good spot. Hey, we got Miner's Cap for this room, so we know where the secret room is. Thank you. Pretty useful. 
<gasps> what the hell? Like, as much as I'm loving Molding Clear right now, I feel like I have to take that, right? I'm not going to take it yet, but I'll take it on the way back. I think I'm at four hearts right now. I'm either at four hearts or four and a half. Not a hundred percent sure. But let's just, let's just play it safe and carry on. Keep on keeping on. Oh, for, I knew that was going to happen. I knew the fly was going to gonna get loose at the worst possible timing. This guy has such low fire rate as base. It's kind of, it's kind of AIDS. That actually worked. I always hate doing that one. Oh my god. Good, good, we got it. This is another one that's just kind of like fucked. I got really lucky there, but yeah. It's kind of like, what do you do? Right, I think even though Molding Clay is pretty sick, I think we have to take Holy Penny here. Uh, excuse me, let me let me take Holy Penny, thank you. Because it could be really, really good. Okay, well, we're at full red health at the minute. Maybe we go and bomb our donation machine a little bit for some, um... For some... Soul Hearts to give away to the to the door. Let's, uh, let's go and do that first, actually. Let's take every advantage we can get on this floor. It's going to be a bit of a slow play, but... Come in here. It's going to drop there, lovely. Oh, we haven't even fought the boss yet. Shit. <laughs> Thought we had. Okay. I did I did just see us fire a euthanasia shot. And that was some $3 bill. I didn't realize $3 bill could, could give you those. But pretty interesting to know. All right, pile is dead, luckily. Um, Our speed is pretty much fine. I think this is a case in which we are best for a fly. I'm gonna gamble. Yes! I gambled and it paid off. Right. One, two. I think we can just leave. I was gonna play this floor a little bit more, but we just, considering we just got that tinted rock and um, got little dolly out of it, I think we're pretty much good to go. I think we're full red health, one soul heart now. Yes, we are. One soul heart and a half, even better. Um, this is definitely a room to, to bomb the hell out of things to try and get soul hearts. That I'm going to leave. That I'm going to leave. We could end up playing that. Yeah. Good, good. Not going to open you. I, I'm very low on keys right now. As everyone bloody well knows. Red chest. A hey, extra soul heart. Awesome. Okay, things have kind of come together a little bit for us. But you got to remember, we are augmenting our damage quite heavily with the knife. So you got to remember that, that that damage will be gone soon. Always something I kind of forget to take into account very important to really because it is a lot of extra damage and it's spectral as well there's a half soul heart for us there already yeah flies in a good job of taking out these sort of things oh baby baby oh baby baby oh hello got you extra bombs as well 
three dollar bills have been the real star of the show though i just wish we had permanent um mysterious liquid i really do would have been so nice to have that the game screwed us though quince is quince is pretty good either even when we're going for mother i still think quince is worth a take it, it's not as good on mother because she doesn't spawn as many ads but she spawns maggots and stuff every every now and again i got hit there apparently Alrighty then. Hey, you know the half soul heart. Holy penny is the best penny. A pill, I'll take it. HP up, shot speed down, very worthwhile. Right, we are going to pick this up and abyss it. I did not intend to do that. I am a moron, as they call them in the business. If you didn't see what I just did there, I went to Abyss Mum's Bracelet, because you can pick it up over your head and Abyss it. And I Abyssed the Void too. I have to say, I don't care as much as I thought I would have. I really thought that that would be something I'd be like, oh no, we've lost Void. But I'm, I'm more so, oh for fuck's sake, Cares of Darkness, forgot about that. I'm more so like, oh no, we lost Void. <laughs> Just kind of like, eh, whatever. Wasn't doing much for us anyways. So we're finally getting some keys going. Oh, hello. Uh, both of these are kind of trash, but... I shall take. Got the soul heart there. Great. On top of a button. Right. Solar Magdalene. Solar Magdalene is... Let's have a look. Throw a good one or for the current room. Enemies kill, drop a rep heart that disappears. It's it's okay for later. I was going to maybe play the blood bank with it, but we really don't need money for anything. Um, apart from getting extra soul hearts. But even then, we're pretty good on the soul heart front now anyways. So I think I'm just going to leave that for now. Look at that knife. It just killed everything in this room. I mean, the, the, the little flies did as well, but let's credit the knife more so. Good, you are gone. A kind of annoying boss here. That did not work as planned. That did, however. You keep giving me bombs for my bombs. I'm going to get hit here. What? I didn't get hit? Oh. <laughs> I got so invested. <laughs> That was kind of funny. Oh, well. Oh, hello. Bit of Godhead. Very nice. Bit of Godhead. Um, We've got enough bombs to... Let's fight you because we can abyss this. But yeah, homing, aura. All very nice stuff. And let's abyss. Didn't get anything there. So we shall be leaving... Remember to watch for our next item room. Let's see what it is. We get... Yumha or something else. I couldn't quite tell what the other thing was. I think both of them are pretty bad though. Okay, this is kind of an annoying room. We can deal with it just fine. It's just going to take a bit of time. But yes, um, Godhead Herming plus $3 bills really good. One thing I still don't know, is the Herming on Godhead actually better than the Herming on Spoonbender? And same with Sacred Heart, because I've always felt like Sacred Heart and Godhead had stronger Herming, but I don't actually know if that's the case, or if it's just kind of a pl the placebo effect of them being better items and thus thinking that they've got better uh, effects. It very well could be that. Nice. Although, yeah, having Herming right now is really good. Eternal Heart here is great. Item Room. Oh, no. Play-Doh Cookie's great. I love Play-Doh Cookie. Rainbow Tears. Awesome. And more Fire Rate. Awesome. Okay, we are... Th this run has come together. This run's really good now. 
The only thing I'm worried about is our HP. And our HP is going to be better next floor because we've got an Eternal Heart. It's not even bad in the first place. I just like it to be better. I will open this as well. I don't know how that one opened, but there you go. We've got some sort of magnetization effect going on. I don't really know what item that could be coming from. $3 bill, maybe? Giving us um, the Magneto what effect, whatever it's called. Strange Retractor. What are we looking like on this floor? We'd like shop. Definitely like shop. But yeah, high fire rate godhead, really, really good. Play-Doh cookie is just fun. I love the rainbow effects. Very practically useful as well for the freezing, fire, all sorts. So the freezing's definitely the best stats effect in there, but the rest of them are still very good as well. Okay, crack that bad boy open as well, just for the try and get the soul hearts out of this. Sadly, nothing. Still, more money for the shop. Remember as well, we can hold items over our head and then abyss them. So if we get like a little baggy, we could pick it up and abyss it. A change that was made in um, in Repentance that I didn't actually know about for quite a while. It makes Void and the Abyss much better items than they otherwise would have been. At least in my opinion. Another key there. Beautiful. Beautiful. All of you have been destroyed. Very beautiful. Yeah, I see you, whippy boys. I know how to counter you guys now. I'm be I'm better at attacking you guys than I was once before. Um, ooh. Ooh, darling. I think we'll grab this. And do you know what? Heck, it will grab this as well. And we might as well grab this. We have not been to our secret room, so we will use Moon. Moon's two room charge. Pretty good to know. Ah, oh, that would have been good if it had given us soul hearts, but nothing, sadly. Right, so we are looking for better cards, but this is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. Right, let's go for it. Damage is is very good, but I wouldn't say it's insanely good. For for mother at least. Uh but this is gonna this is gonna alleviate that somewhat. And I'm more thinking about the tier damage. Our actual overall damage of all the effects, status effects we're getting, and then on top of that, three dollar bill, and then on top of that. The um, the red flies we've got going on is actually overall pretty pretty fucking good. And we're good to go down. We are good to go down. Let's moon straight away. HP is looking fine and dandy right now. We get ourselves infested and a tears up. Oh baby, 0 0.03 tears up. Couldn't ask for a, th a single thing better than that. The homing's really going to be the takeaway from this floor, though. We're going to notice a lot of good stuff with the homing here. It's going to make these rooms significantly easier. We did get a half soul heart in here, or is it on a ledge? Oh, no. We did just get one normally. Of course, Moon can't take us to second secret room, so... Come on. Half soul heart. Half soul heart. Half soul heart. Yes. Thank you. I'm hoping we get to full HP before we go to the... Uh, the big mama. Big mama's house too. We should be fine though. This is a very good run for mother. And I've got to the point now with mother where I'm a, I'm a lot more in tune with her attack patterns and and how to how to avoid some of the harder ones. The ball attack I still think is kind of bullshit and I still think, think that's really hard to get around. Uh, but otherwise, they're mostly fine. And that ball attack's relatively rare anyways. I'm hoping we get a better card before we go in there so we can double use... Like, even just a devil card. But, uh, like, strength would be a really, really good option. We don't know what we're going to get. We'll see. I can't believe he didn't die. I mean, you, you <laughs> he was, like, stricken with fear, just, like, flailing in the corner. That was kind of funny. I'm opening chests at this point to try and get uh, extra soul hearts and to try and get cards. Red card. Red chests can contain cards. I believe it's brown chests contain pills, red chests contain cards. And the, you cannot find pills in golden chests. I don't mean red chests, I mean brown chests. You can't find pills in golden chests and you can't find cards in brown chests. Never the two shall meet. Right, 
Right. But yeah, these, these little fodder enemies are going down so fast right now. It's kind of insane. This should be boss. Yes, it is. We keep getting rock goat. Oh my god, holy shit. Oh, Cricket. I was like, well, how the hell did we kill him so fast then? Cricket's body. Extra. Uh, Cricket's body's really good because you get extra auras. Um, and those extra auras uh, do full damage. They don't scale with your, with your damage. Uh, Godhead's damage is static now, so... Split shots is insane. It's absurdly powerful. Angel deal here. Nice. You tempt me, Genesis. You tempt me. See, now, Genesis is an item that I've still never used. Because every single time I get it, the run is a clear win. I am going to carry it. I am going to carry it and not use it. Because I just... I, I love the idea of Genesis. It essentially lets you refactor your run. Like, it lets you just... Um, it, it basically, for every one item that you earn, it gives you three items to select from. And you get to redraft your whole run. It keeps the item pools that you got the items from and everything. Uh, and it just lets you redraft your run. But when you've got a run like this, that's just, just essentially a guaranteed victory. I cannot in good faith use it. I like Zane. I like a bit of I like a bit of weirdness. I I will go for it. But while we're on the the, the home stretch of trying to get these last few unlocks, uh, which we only have ten achievements, no, I think that twenty five achievements left, twenty achievements left, something like that. Um, while we're on this home stretch, I cannot in good faith say that it'd be a good idea to use Genesis, mainly because. I have watched, I've been watching Northern Lion recently, and I have seen him ruin three runs to Genesis recently. Because he, he took a, a guaranteed victory and turned it into a much worse run. And it's just, it's put me off the idea when, when, when we're doing unlocks. Once we start going for streaks, Genesis is an item that, unless we have something really unique and wacky, which this isn't really, apart from the fact that we've got um, $3 bill plus Play-Doh cookie, which are some of my favorite items, um, then I'll, I'll just use it. But while we've got a run that I really like and a run that's very strong, I just can't in good faith go using Genesis. It's it's definitely a pussy ways out, and I'm sure there's going to be a few of you in the comments that are like, Oh, Magro Turtle, I can't believe you didn't use Genesis. Do you not like fun? All you care about is unlocks, you... You're stupid. Oh my god. A golden battery? Okay, we are taking some dumb damage right now. But yeah. Anyways, let's go let's go fight the boss. There's our quints. I knew we were gonna get some. Right, let's just let's just let's just fight this out. Hash this out normally. Go for it. First phase should be very quick here. Very, very quick indeed. Second phase is going to be a little harder. There you go. First phase is done. And then, if I get the unlock before jumping in the chest, which I'm pretty sure you do, I'm going to use Genesis. Just to see what we could have got. I don't know if it'll work. I actually really don't. But I feel like I have to try. Feel like I got to try. Fire mind here, pretty damn good. We're, we're looking pretty, pretty good here. We are looking pretty good here. We've, we've had a bunch of really good three dollar bill pulls so far. But I think we're fine. I don't know how I managed to miss that one. Yeah, he's, he's basically dead now. There you go. Right. If we get the unlock before jumping in the chest, which I think you do. Yes. Apollyon's best friend. Done. Now we try and Genesis and see what we get. We get... Fire rate. And then... Dreamcatcher again, I guess. Salvation, really good. Um, speed up. Pascal Candle. 
Nine Tails, Cricket's Body, Jar of Flies. I would have liked Suplex instead. We'll go for Stigmata here. Magic Skin's an interesting one, but I think we go for Eternal. Oop. Toxic Shock. Chaos. Jacob's Ladder. Tears Up. Red Key instead. Eye Spores. Another Syringe. Another Health plus Damage Up. A Speed Up. School bag, yeah, I think school bag's pretty good. And that's that's our lot. That's all we get. And we go down. And it takes us to the normal floor. So as you can clearly see. As you can clearly see. This would have been a very bad idea. Now, I'm not saying we would have guaranteed lost, but look at our HP. It completely reset our HP. So Genesis, while fun would have definitely been the wrong choice. However, red key plus golden battery on the floor, that's pretty sexy. Anyways, go down and we finish off the run. I hope you guys enjoyed this nonetheless, even without the Genesis player. We managed to get an unlock there and I'll see you guys in the next one.